Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Stylespreneur Podcast. I am your host, Damali Fields, and today we are talking about the pros and cons of being a traveling hairstylist. So I did a survey on Instagram to see what you guys wanted to know about, uh, what episodes you wanted me to do, and this was one of the topics that you guys wanted to know about. So I know everybody loves to hear the cons first. I'm more of like a cons last because... I don't know. I just love to talk about cons last. Like, give me the good news. Give me give me the good stuff. Um, so let's talk about the pros. First off, an obvious um pro of being a traveling hairstylist is that you get to see new places. Who doesn't want to travel? Who doesn't want to explore? Um, I love to explore. I love traveling. I love seeing seeing places. I love seeing how people live there, how they get around. I love the food. Gosh, guys, I am a foodie. Like I can't get away from it if I wanted to. I am currently exercising. Um, I got my lemon water. Mm -hmm. And I am just thinking like, Lord, can I stay skinny? Because I love to eat. So whenever I travel places, I already have my list of all the foods that I want to try. Um, Instagram me, baby, because if y'all pop it on Instagram, I will be there to try your food. If you got nice pictures, nice videos, nice reels, I'm sold. I will not go to a place. I don't want to go to the normal places. I don't want to go to the mom and pops or if they're on Instagram, I do. But as far as like the commercial places, mm -mm, nope, that's my last choice. Um, before I go on a tangent about me wanting to eat, clearly I'm on the diet. Okay. And I can only eat certain things. So I'm thinking about all those great foods on Instagram. So in my travels, you guys know that I've lived in New York, California, back to Florida, and now Chicago. I have been able to live, you know, a suburb life in Sarasota. Now I'm in Chicago, been in New York where I can live the city life. I prefer the city life. I prefer to feel like I'm alive. And that's what the city does for me. So that's one of the biggest pros for me as far as being a traveling hairstylist. So another thing is you get to learn from other styles that you've worked with. I have worked with some amazing hairstylists. Um, I worked with a team in New York that had came from a Ted Gibson salon. When I tell you there was one stylist that I could just sit and watch her cut hair. When I tell you she just, she made it look like art. The way she stood, the way she stood back, the way she examined the hair, the way she just took her time. It was more than a haircut. It was a masterpiece. Um, so just being able to learn from different stylists, being able to learn what not to do um, has been amazing. And so every time I move, guys, I literally can create a new persona. I can be a whole new person. I can change my look, my hair. Shout out to my new haircut. I decided, if you watch me on Instagram, I decided to be impulsive and just cut my hair into a bob. I have no regrets. I love it. It will grow back. So um, thank you for everybody who said, girl, go ahead and cut your hair. I did it. I love it. Um, and so in addition to moving and being a traveling hairstylist, whenever I move, say for instance, Sarasota to Chicago, the prices in Chicago are higher. So I move as a traveling hairstylist and I instantly get to get a promotion. I get to change my prices. And that just goes back to as far as like revamping, recreating, and just being this new person if I want to be, or just changing things and having a new clientele and them not being like, oh, this is what we're doing now. But it's like, no, this is it. Versus like being in one place and your style's getting used to certain things and you change something and they have a heart attack. Like I don't have that when I travel to a new place or move somewhere. Let's see. And another thing which I absolutely love about being a traveling hairstylist is that I have clients all over. I have clients all over the US, not even including uh, the clients that I make wigs for that live in different states. I am literally creating a brand all over the US. One day internationally, not yet. Um, but, I, you know, I have clients in multiple states. And so when I travel to these places, I am able to connect with all these people. I am able to look at my Instagram feed and be like, man, I remember her from New York. Or man, I remember that time I did her in California. 
that's very exciting as a traveling hairstylist. Not to say it's not exciting. Uh, been in one place, we will we'll get to the cons, baby. Okay. Um, so it is good and bad having clients all over. Um, but for the most part, it's good. Let's see. And so one of the things I absolutely love, I have a girlfriend in New York named Melissa. Shout out to my girl, Melissa. Um, whenever I would travel to New York, I would travel around events, festivals. So I would make sure like, hey, me and Melissa about to go to this event. We're about to have a fancy dinner while I get to work. And I'm able to pay for those fancy dinners, those festivals, because I was able to work. And once I got off from work, then go and hang out with my girlfriend. Um, I'm not drinking now. Um, but I literally would say me and Melissa was like, girl, we're getting some new wine tonight. Like we were having a ball and it was because I was able to travel and work. So for anybody that's a traveling hairstylist, make sure you're having fun. Don't just go work all day. Make sure you're hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, trying something new, a restaurant, an activity, activity. Make sure that you're able to go to a concert if that's possible. I mean, I've seen stylists that have traveled, you know, to places because they knew a concert was happening and they knew maybe the talent or the attendees needed their hair done or even like makeup artists. So make it a whole trip, not just work, but work and fun. Um, and like I said, just the exposure that you get as a traveling hairstylist, people love the fact that they're like, okay, you know, where are you going to be here now? And honestly, a uh, funny story. I had a client last week and she texted me and she was just like, Hey, what part of Chicago do you live in? And I'm like, Oh Lord, what does she want? Um, and she was just like, well, I'm going to be passing by and can I stop and get my hair done? Girl? Yes. Come on over. So I was able to do her hair. And that's the thing where it's just like, I'm not where that client lives, but because she was traveling, we were able to connect and I was able to do her hair. So that was amazing and fun. And so I'll be going back to Florida next month. And so I'll still be able to do her hair. So being a traveling hairstylist definitely has its pros, but baby, everything that has a pro has a con. So let's talk about it. Um, One of the things that, that like gets to me, get under my skin as far as being a traveling hairstylist is starting over. <sighs> it literally breaks my heart every time I have to start over, no matter how much I prepare for it, no matter how much in advance I know, because each time or sometimes I'll have like a notice a few months or not or so. So this time I knew well over a year, that there would be a move. I didn't know when, I didn't know where, but I knew it was happening. And for me, I will I will hang on for dear life, baby. I hung on to Sarasota. Um, I didn't like try to switch over my license here in Chicago until I got here because I was like, I'm here, Sarasota. I'm gonna focus on these clients. This is what I currently have. And this is, you know, my focal point. So having to move somewhere, having to go somewhere new and having to start over, having to prove yourself to people. I mean, I remember in California, there was a lady and she said, I stood outside and I looked through the window for about 20 minutes because I was thinking, girl, you look young. And I'm thinking in my head, not only am I not young, uh, I'll be 38 this year. I'm a grown lady with a whole husband and a kid and a house and a rental property and all this stuff. Um, not only am I not young, but I'm also licensed in multiple states. I've been doing this for over... Mm, over 15 years now, um, but just having to prove yourself, people not knowing anything about you, people having to try you out. And I mean, that's where the confidence comes in. That's where the experience comes in, where you're just like, I know my stuff and I can do your hair. And of course I proved her wrong. And by the end of the appointment, she was confident. She loved her hair, all that good stuff. But just starting out and just feeling like, man, I got to prove myself again. You know, that's one of those things that oh, clearly it gets under my skin, but I am resilient. I've been able to adapt. I've been able to get new clients in every area that I moved in and they've all turned out to be amazing clients. So that hasn't, it's initially an issue. It's initially something that gets under my skin, but I would say two, three months into it, then I'm I'm rolling, I'm fine. Um, but that's just an issue. And let's see, having to get a new license, Lord Jesus, Chicago, 
listen, if anybody is working downtown in Chicago, um, can you figure out why it's been about four months and I am still not licensed in Chicago? Why? Why? So I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, having to get a new license in each state, Lord, I wish that was just like one playing field, just one, you know, how many hours you need, the qualifications, but each state is different. So I will be getting my fourth license, which sounds cool. Like, oh, you know, I'm licensed in New York, Florida, California, and now Chicago, whenever that happens. Um, so that's that's a pro and a con, I guess. Let's see. Being inconsistent as far as like working. So I haven't worked in a few months. Shout out to Papa Bear, hubby holding it down. Which, you know, this is the fourth move. So I'm just saying, I'm just going to put that out there, sir. Your girl going to make these podcasts and have fun and, um, you know, share my experiences with you guys, which I absolutely love. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, you're in and out of work. You know, I, if I travel to Florida or I travel somewhere, it's kind of like, okay, fingers crossed, which I understand. A lot of my clients, I will, you know, recommend them to another stylist. There is some clients that are like, girl, I'm going to hold on for dear life. Whenever you come back, I will be there, regardless of if I found somebody else, if I didn't. So I love those clients that, you know, absolutely love me and I love them back. And we will forever have those relationships. Um, It does get lonely. I'm not one for saying that I am lonely because I can either be an introvert or an extrovert. So it really doesn't matter to me. I can chill in my apartment, baby, and not go outside and have had the most wonderful day. Or I can go to brunch with some girlfriends and have an even more wonderful day. So, um, but as far as like not having your clients, I tell people like, I know when people are getting married, having babies, like if I were to see like the baby showers and stuff online or the weddings, I'm like, oh, I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to do their hair for that event. So um, in that aspect, it does feel a little lonely or like I'm missing out. But like I said, every time I move, it just kind of gets better and better. New experiences, new places, new people. And that I can't give up. You know, the the different experiences that I'm able to have. Um, like I've, I live here in Chicago and I've been able to do a few of my neighbors here as well. And just meeting those and having connections with those and similarities as far as them being moms, as far as them uh, either working part time or just being able to relate to people. So they're... It may seem like a con, but cons are also pros depending on how you look at it. So I'm always trying to be positive, look at things in a brighter light and not necessarily consider a con. Although I got to give you guys these pros and cons, but um, it's all in how you look at it. It's all in how you interpreted it. And I am just staying positive through it all. And so let's see. Um, Yeah, those are pretty much the cons working in a new salon, trying to figure out the salon, trying to figure out the other stylist, um, trying to figure out where you're going to work. Thank God for places uh, or apps like ShareShare where you can like find different locations to work at. Uh, shout out to all the connections that I've made via Instagram and online. I know so many stylists. I had a stylist here in Chicago that invited me to work with her, although she wasn't close enough. Um, so yeah, there's definitely pros and cons to being a traveling hairstylist. I would definitely say there are more pros and that your life can be whatever you make it as long as you're positive. So guys, I am staying positive on this journey of being a traveling hairstylist. I am accepting my lifestyle. Um, I know I have a girlfriend and she always tells me, I wish I could live in a different place because she has lived in one place uh, for maybe over 15 years now. So I embrace it. I love, you know, being in Chicago, being in the city. Um, I'm currently on a meal plan. I won't call it a diet, but I'm currently on a meal plan. So when I initially got here, I was able to enjoy a lots and lots of food. And every now and then I get my cheat meal. Um, so yeah, there are definitely the pros and cons, but overall the pros are winning. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know it's something that you guys were interested in knowing about. So continue to let me know what you'd like to know about. I love sharing. I love enlightening. So yeah, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Have an awesome day.